Okay guys, this is the latest update from the NOAA National Hurricane Center and Joint Typhoon Warning Center. It says infrared data from NASA satellites helped confirm that former Tropical Depression 27W has strengthened into a tropical storm near Guam. The storm has been renamed Tropical Storm Sala and NASA's Aqua Satellite analyzed the system in infrared light to determine the location of its strongest storms. The U.S. Territory of Guam has issued a small craft advisory and high surf advisory for the island that extends from October 24th to the 25th. Infrared light provides valuable temperature data to forecasters and cloud top temperatures give clues to highest, coldest, strongest storms within a hurricane. On October 24th at 12.45 a.m., the moderate resolution imaging spectroradiometer or MODIS instrument aboard NASA's Aqua satellite analyzed tropical storm Salas cloud top temperatures and infrared light. MODIS found cloud top temperatures of strongest thunderstorms were as cold or as colder than minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit in two areas, south and southwest of the center. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center noted at 5 a.m. that animated multispectral satellite imagery showed the main convection was sheared southwestward of a partially exposed broad low-level circulation center. That indicates that the storm was still being battered by vertical wind shear. October 24th, 5 a.m., the center of Tropical Storm Sala was located near 13.6 degrees north latitude and 141.1 degrees east longitude, about 150 nautical miles west of Navsta, Guam. The island of Guam is located approximately 3,300 miles west of Hawaii and 1,500 miles east of the Philippines and south of Japan. Sala had maximum sustained winds near 40 knots and was moving to the northeast at 25 knots. The National Weather Service in Guam issued a small craft advisory until 6 p.m. local time on Wednesday, October 25th. As tropical storm Sala moves away from the Marianas, combined seas of 10 to 13 feet will subside to 8 to 9 feet Wednesday night, October 25th. Fresh to strong winds will prevail through Wednesday, decreasing Wednesday night. There's also a high surf advisory in effect for Guam until October 25th, 6 p.m. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center expects that Salo will continue strengthening and become a typhoon by tomorrow on October 25th as it moves in a northwesterly direction. Extended forecasts call for the storm to curve to the northeast beginning on October 27th when it is parallel to Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan. So that's the latest outlook. It's still a tropical storm right now, but by tomorrow uh, it is expected to be categorized as a typhoon. And I believe it is starting as a category one typhoon, but it's following the same track as uh, the last typhoon that came in there. I imagine that's probably the same track that most typhoons follow, so just subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated.